Good morning, First Christian Church. It is so good to see you all this morning. I'm here with Jason and with Wes, and um, they're here because we want to share a little bit more about the Heartland Equality Center, correct? Yes, ma'am. So if you'll tell everybody, what is Heartland Equality Well, the Heartland Center? Equality Center started out as the West Kentucky uh, LGBT Visitors uh, Visitor Center. Uh, and it's kind of evolved into the Heartland Equality Center. So because it's not just representative of West Kentucky anymore, which part of Southeast Missouri and Southern Illinois that are also being served by this, by, by this organization. Um, there are a lot of LGBTQIA people in this area. And really, honestly, until a few years ago, I didn't even know that there were that many here. Um, and this is a, it has been something that we, we needed in this area for a long time. It's a support system. Um, they, they host meetings, they, they help to educate the community, and they also do a lot of community outreach. Just to let people know that, hey, we're here for you. Yeah, we're here for you. And, and they help out in a lot of different ways. Um, so they're actually doing some really neat things right now. They're, there's an opportunity for us to serve in missions. Yes, so. absolutely. Um, just like with a lot of people in Paducah, uh, within our community, there are a number of food insecure individuals and families. And right now, the Heartland Equality Center is working on a food drive to help to, to gather food up to help these families. And so far, I, think, I talked to the director this morning and I think he said they had six families that had already signed up for it. Um, they're, they're trying to help them, not, not just with food for, for the holidays, but also to have that, that resource there. Um, and for a lot of the food banks and things like that are, are church associated and I don't know if you guys are aware how great a blessing this church is for our community yes. because because we don't get this reception anywhere and because a lot of these a lot of these food pantries are church associated there's that fear of can I go there if I need help well none of us are perfect no church is perfect no organization is perfect um, but we can take a step and we can start somewhere and this is a great way to show others that we are witnessing God's love. That's our mission for our manners. That we are witnessing God's love to our community. And it doesn't matter where you come from, what you look like, or um, how you identify yourself. Um, but we as a church will reach out and we'll try. We'll start somewhere to witness God's love to others. And thank you both for all the work that you're doing to help educate us and teach us how we can better witness God's love to you and to, to others that um, are out there. So we really appreciate you both. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you guys do. Thank you. Thank you. So, if you are interested in donating some of those supplies to the Heartland Equality Center, um, what is it that they're collecting? Um, they're collecting, they're taking care of the turkeys, but they're collecting the other stuff that will go along with the non perishable food items. Non perishable food items, uh, stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, vegetables, things like things of that nature. Awesome. So, if you have any of those items, or if you'd like to bring in any of those items, we're going to be collecting those um, in the front lobby in a separate bucket on the other side um, of where PCM donations are. And we'll have a little sign out so that you can bring your donations so that we can support um, Heartland Equality Center. Thank you all so much, First Christian Church. We Thank you. Thank everything. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.